This is the home page. You can access full text journals, books, film reviews and thousands of images. Enter your search terms into the search bar in the centre of the page. Your basic search may return a lot of results, some not relevant. You can narrow down the search using the options on the left hand side. We'll narrow this search down by selecting only full text and peer reviewed resources. Other options include language, date, etc. There are now a more manageable 26 relevant results to browse. Select PDF full text to open and read an article within your browser. Select images from the menu bar at the top of the page. Enter your search term into the search bar. This will search within the film image collection. You can narrow down the search by image type. For instance, you could search only for colour images or images of people. Select the image or title to view more information about it and to download a high resolution copy of the image. Select publications from the menu at the top of the screen. You can browse an alphabetical list of publications or use the search bar to search for a specific title. We are going to browse for Sight & Sound magazine. This is the publication record. On the right hand side is a list of all the issues available to read. Let's select one. A list of all the articles from your chosen issue will appear. Select one to read an HTML text. Using the small arrows at the top of the page, you can click through the other articles in the same issue. There are options on the toolbar to print, cite and email the article, as well as saving it to your Google Drive or personal folder. This is the symbol for Add to Folder. You can save any articles or images into your folder to view later. Select Folder from the toolbar at the top of the home page to view your saved articles and resources. Select the relevant articles. You can now print, email and download your chosen articles for your personal use and research. This video has given you an overview of the Film and Television Literature Index, but if you have any further questions, please contact the library at library at cityofglasgowcollege.ac.uk